Do you see that? I am so good at this freaking game. Oh my gosh. That was sick. Hey there, Brewberries, what's up, and welcome to another episode of Valheim. We are back pretty much right where we left off, but I have been getting some charcoal made, and uh, or coal, I guess is what it is called. And so we have quite a bit of coal now, about three stacks of 50, especially with these. This is all filled up, ready to go, and that's what we're addressing today. So. We are going to be getting right into things because I, there we are, 50, 150 coal. That's going to go away very quickly. Uh, I've been working around here just a little bit, flatten it, flattening it out. I'm thinking about making this kind of like our work area. Uh, eventually, we'll kind of expand it around here. Um, and then I would like to make kind of a dock area as well. And I'm thinking maybe the dock area goes over here. And I'm going to maybe move this house somewhere else. Um, and kind of just make it bigger. I think we need a bigger storage area because while this is working fine, it's a little weird and I also kind of just hate the fact that I can't chop this stupid giant log down, but that is okay. Now the sun is in a all right spot. So I think firstly what we should go ahead and do is maybe go hunting for some nearby deer and or boars. And uh, I also, really want to try and figure out how to tame boars eventually. I discovered there's a, a little, almost like a little destroyed town, village area um, over that way. And I saw like they had some, oh, here's a bad guy. Come at me, bro. I missed. Come here, buddy. Yeah, let's do it. Pokey pokey, right in the booty. Where, oh, there, there you are. Yeah, the spear is really nice. So uh, I also went ahead and made up a, uh, a baseball bat. <laughs> it's a club. Um, doing Using this for the skeletons, because we're going to be going and getting some more uh, of those, uh, whatever those core things are called. Or these certain cores, that's what they're called. And so you can see we've got quite, this is kind of like the valuables chest. Um, and also did some expansion of the bees area i think this is really nice so i found as i said i found a a couple of other old houses up in there up more in the meadows area and they all had bees and uh these i know are good for making uh kind of like i guess i don't know if they're potions or what but they're like meads or or something that makes it so you can not take as much damage um, and also maybe reduce like poison and all that. So this is gonna be a really, really nice setup to have. And I think it's kind of a, a fun little area. So eventually we're gonna have bees that kind of just line this whole area and then we'll have a, a good amount of them going. Now I don't think there's any way to breed these guys uh, to be able to get more bees easily, but that's okay. But let me go ahead and sleep and then we're gonna get right on in to what we're doing today. Oh, good morning all righty so we have the rested buff which is gonna be good and i would like to gather all this up one if you didn't know uh, if you put something into these two guys here they will work overnight very quickly so if you uh, put them in at night and like make sure they're filled up because they will cook pretty much the rest of everything that you're working on um, what type of arrows do we got going here flint arrowhead we have 90 of those man oh man all right cool well i think it's good to keep uh we have 90 of those i don't think we necessarily need to have all of those we'll just keep the flint ones and then the the uh, fire ones i think that'll be good and then we can put the resin up here and boom so we've got a good amount of resources i think going and so before we start off, I would like to make this deer hide cape and then also maybe do some upgrading because we now have bone fragments. And I think I don't have enough deer hide to make everything, but let's go ahead and see. Where did I keep? I think I put them in here. So here are the bone fragments. And then if we go into leather, oh, we have 23. Let's just grab that and then eat some. 
and we should be good to go. Let's see here. Deer hind cape, that is definitely, that's a new armor piece that we can make, so that's really nice. There's that, and then we can upgrade. What does this take? Four, then this takes six, and then this takes six. How much do we have? We have 19, so we need six, six, and then four. So we have enough for everything, so that's really good. So let's go ahead and do that, uh, because I think the armor is really what we need to get things going. And then, yeah, let's upgrade this, and we'll get more bones and stuff later on. Uh, because you do need bones to be able to upgrade like club and the club and stuff which I upgraded once um, But we don't have enough so we need to go ahead and get more and it looks like we do have enough actually to upgrade our helmet If we go ahead and get one more. Oh, we are very naked Let's put it go ahead and put those on there's the pantalones There's the jacket And there's the cape. Oh, yeah now we're looking much better with that cape Amazing how the cape can add so much. So we have enough bones for the helmet. We just need three more leather, or two or three more leather. I can't remember. I'll go ahead and get three, um, and then we should be good to go. All right, and there we go. Leather helmet level two, and now it looks like we need a fourth level, which I think is going to require us to be getting tin and iron, or not iron. Iron's after tin and copper, which then I think... Most games, those things are combined to make bronze, or at least bronze is usually a combination. All right, let's go ahead and uh, eat some more food and let's head out. So first order of business is there is a couple of tin deposits that I would like to get my hands on. And uh, that is right here by the coastline. And I know that, oh, let's grab some flint as we go because that is good. Oh, don't you even touch me. You jerk this thing the only issue is I feel like this thing doesn't work well and if you if you're like right next to them like if if you're up above and they are down below you you don't actually like aim at them oh hey boar peace be with you all right don't need that did I pick up the leather yes I did very good the leather is honestly the most important. The one thing I have learned about this game is you constantly have to gather resources. You're just constantly, constantly gathering them. So here is the tin. And if we gather this up, this is gonna be our first actually harvested tin. Now we already have tin ingots because we found some. Is there anything else? This is just stone, it looks like. How much did that give us? Three. All right. So, and I think tin is maybe the secondary ingredient for bronze. I've been doing a little bit of just washing other people to get a good idea. And so let's go ahead and find maybe another one. Can I use this pickaxe as a weapon? Is that a thing? What is this? Is this a rock? I imagine that's just a rock. I'm not gonna waste my pickaxe durability. Do I have both picks? No, I don't. Okay, well, we will Go ahead and just kind of go around here and try and find maybe one more tin deposit. Ah, here are three tin deposits, so that's good. Oh, snap, we got four in here, so that's good. Now the black forest I've found is a little, it's sketchy at night, but not too bad during the day because you can actually kind of see what's going on um, but it does get a little sketchy at night. So how much do we have here? 21? Maybe we find a car. Oh my goodness, look at all of this tin here. That's awesome. This is, this is exactly what we need. And we got some baddies here. Oh, we've got a blue guy. Curious. Oh, snap. Okay, we got, we got, this game is also all about your stamina. All about the stamina, and this spear is good. And you can stun them, and the spear is nice because you can just keep on going. Oh 
Nice, nice. So that was a level two gray dwarf. So that's good. I don't know if that gives us anything special. Doesn't really look like it, but back to mining here. Ooh, blueberries. I like me some blueberries. All right, so apparently this uh, stuff is really heavy, which makes sense. It's 208 pounds. And it also, you'll note that that has a little marker. You can build portals in this game to teleport around the world uh, to just be able to get around faster. But there are certain resources that actually cannot be teleported. So you can't easily just go get ore and then let's grab some of this. Oh, I can't grab even grab this. Uh, we've got plenty of resin. Can I pick any? Okay, maybe not. Okay, drop the wood. There we go. There we go. How much more do we have? 291. Let's just keep grabbing. How much does Flint weigh? 14 pounds, so it's two pounds per, so we can grab a few more Flint if we see any. Oh, get out of here. So we got 26 tin ore. I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. Only issue with this is I have to go over here, and it's kind of finicky. But let's go ahead, put 10 on in there. And uh, then let's go ahead and put this away. And we'll go ahead and put it here. And that alleviates so much weight. Uh, let's go ahead and put some of the trophies away that we don't need. Uh, I'll go ahead and put the food in here just for now. Put some of the enemy drops in here. And then again, blueberries don't need those. Don't need the neck stuff either. And we might as well fill this guy up so that we are making more. Wood is plentiful. We've got a couple of those. I'm just going to go leave those and go ahead on back and gather up. I had to leave some tin on the ground, which is a bit sad. So going to go ahead, kill this little dude, and then go back and continue gathering stuff. Always grabbing flint. Basically, this game has taught me if you see a resource and you can carry it, Go ahead and grab it because you're probably going to need it eventually. And it is becoming night time. So let's go ahead, get on back. We've got another 17 tin. So that is good. There was quite a bit actually over in that area. So that is good. We can go ahead and start smelting this up. And hopefully we'll be able to then get a little bit more let's go ahead and pick that oh i guess we are at max capacity nope uh i don't know why i wasn't picking that up oh i i forgot if you drive key key thing if you drop things uh yourself you will not actually automatically pick them up like if you uh interact with them oh we've got somebody attacking us come here boy die but you'll not automatically pick things back up uh which is a bit confusing but once you learn it, it's not that big of a deal. So let's go ahead, fill this guy up. And go ahead and fill this up to the brim. And we can put this up. And so now we have so much. Well, I say so much, but we don't really have a ton. And you hear that? Things are running very quickly. That stuff is super loud, which is actually kind of handy because you actually hear that it's cooking, unlike in Minecraft where you kind of have to guess. Uh, we have tons of this food stuff, so let's go ahead and fill that up. And I know I had some here, so let's go ahead and fill all of that up, and then we can go and grab the spoils of what we just did and we can grab up all the honey here should get six bada bing got all six and what in the what do you think you're doing boar jerk don't understand why the boar i've never had a boar attack my stuff oh did it just not like the leather that's kind of funny that it was like i that's my friend. That's my cousin. Oh, snap. I left the food. That's going to be all charcoal, man. That is going to be all burnt. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. So much coal. Oh, what a waste. That's okay. I'm going to wait here. Uh, we definitely need to finish this darn house out, don't we? This is such a... <laughs> I 
a weird, weird thing. I just don't want to finish it if we if I do end up moving up there and making maybe this more of a storage area. I just don't know. All right, there we go. Oh, stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. Oh, man, you catch on fire so fast in this game. Which, I mean, that's probably realistic in, for <laughs> real life. Okay, let's put the extra food away. Don't need you. Let's top that off there. Don't need that. Don't need the blueberries. And that should be it. So I'm going to go ahead and continue smelting the rest of this tin. And then we'll get into... Well, actually, you know what? We can top it off. And then I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and try and find maybe some copper. I think that would be good. So let's top that off. Top you off. And we should be good. Oh boy, it is raining. That is no fun. That means we are going to be wet which just isn't very fun but we can go ahead the weather means nothing to me we must find some copper okie dokie i guess it doesn't rain necessarily in every biome kind of seems bizarre to me okay that's a log so we're looking for copper and uh i guess we explore this direction because we haven't gone this way too far before who knows, maybe, I don't know exactly what copper looks like, so I'll try and keep our eyes peeled. I would imagine it's similar, tin kind of had a shiny rock look to it, so perhaps copper will have kind of a orangish rock look to it. I don't even know, man. All right, so here is this, the mountain biome. We've butted up against it, uh, so I'm guessing not gonna be finding anything there uh, but maybe if we kind of strafe the edge here we will or i guess we're getting further and further into the mountain biome it would seem it kind of sticks out into this area so yeah i don't know i don't know exactly what i'm looking for and then is this meadows here yeah well, now we're back into meadows so we don't want to do that yeah, truly, I just don't know. I don't know what copper looks like. So maybe we go this way. What type of, what is this? Carrot seeds. Sweet, man. We could grow carrots. That'd be awesome. That's like a, probably a decent food supply. What is this? Is this anything? No. Doesn't necessarily look like anything. I would imagine on these big rocks, maybe that's where it is. But who knows? Ooh, is this it? copper deposit look at this this is massive all right sick so this entire is this entire thing copper holy nuts that's huge oh we got some skeletons here let's test out this uh baseball bat see how good we do come at me bro oh that is uh it's uh, it's all right it's not anything to write home about but why were there skeletons around is there a place around here doesn't necessarily look like it so i'm gonna get get back to this uh copper here i'm gonna mark it on our map so that we know where copper is let's go ahead oh no 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 and let's go ahead and copper right there and let's get to mining this copper up. Kind of curious to see if pine is a different tree type as well. Let's go ahead and get the shield out just in case we get snuck up on. I have a feeling the answer is no, my gosh, it is. That's awesome. Okay. So the pine is something unique that we can get. Uh, so we got core wood. Okay. Okay, I can get on board with core wood. Uh, let's go ahead and just kind of temporarily mark this wood um, to come back and gather because we definitely want core wood. Some jerk is attacking my building. It's a freaking boar, I bet. Yeah, why are you guys, 
What, what's gotten into you? Eventually, I'll learn to tame you. Come here, neck. Yeah, jerk. Then we got this dingus. I am glad, you know, starting off in the meadows is definitely like one of the best places I think that you can start off. Just because everything is kind of low leveled. Beautiful. Can we put anything? And here we go. We've got copper. Wonderful. And let's go ahead and put that in there. And is that everything? I believe so. Very good. So we can do that. And we can fill this guy on up. Boom, baby. And we are good to go. So we now have nine copper and more coming. I believe we should have 11 in total. We can put this up and then put all of this stuff up. And we should have gotten some new things. What? Did we get Stag Breaker, a weapon worthy of the gods? If you get hit with this, you'll know it. This looks freaking sick. 20 core wood. Definitely, definitely making this thing. This is like a straight up hammer and I love it. Blunt damage, it's gonna replace our club. Oh man, that's awesome. Okay, so what, did we get more stuff for crafting we did we got the forge six copper stone oh okay we can do that let's let's go ahead and make the forge is this a thing on its own it's crafting station okay no this is a crafting station okay cool so we've got that and uh let's go ahead and go ahead and do that let's grab our copper and then we need to grab some stone, some coal, and what else do we need? Wood, okay, I can do that, I can get wood. Uh, let's just go ahead and grab this. And we are overweight, but that is okay. And I'm thinking, <clears throat> maybe, okay, maybe, maybe being overweight is too much, I need to plan something out. Jeez Louise, these boars, man. They are attacking everything. Get out of here, bro. Whoa, you too. I didn't even see you. Jiminy Christmas. These boars, they hate everything. All right, let's repair that up, Jiminy. All right, well, what I want to do now is I want to maybe level some more of this ground and we have some stone, so I think we can Kind of raise this up here and i would like to make maybe this area oh we're missing stone goodness all right after some much needed uh, thinking and remaking of things i think i have a good sense of what we're going to be making so we've got kind of a little storage house here and i decided to go ahead and make this little building which is gonna house our tool forge. So if we go ahead, and I'm also moving our cooking stations down here because I really just want to have the cooking stations here and I think this will work. Maybe I'll put another campfire like right in the middle there. And this way we can have a lot of cooking going on all at once and that'll be good. So let's get the forge. We need copper for this, very good. Uh, and if you are curious as to how to, let's see, we need six, very good. If you're curious how in the world to put your weapon away because I for some reason could not figure out how to do that, uh, you, you click R, that is the button. Uh, so let's go ahead, we'll put this guy right smack, uh, actually let's do it here. I think that'll be good. Put it right up against the wall. Boom, baby. And then we can put the expansion stuff all around. And I think that'll be good. So let's see, what does the forge allow us to do? Make a bronze, so two copper per one tin. All right, so we can do bronze. Let's, well, you know what? Might as well. Let's go ahead and make some bronze because we have how much? Five and then 15. So we actually need 10 and I think I heard a freaking boar attacking my stuff again. 
super, super annoying. These boars are getting feistier and feistier. Let's go ahead and make another campfire here and right. Yeah, there's definitely a boar attacking my stuff. Get out of here. What you doing? Where are you at? Are you up here? Yeah, you are. I see you. You jerk. Man, these boars, they are killing me. All right, there we go. Uh, to be fair, I should probably should put that stuff in something, but whatever. So let's go ahead and use this tool forge and make our first set of bronze. And what does that unlock? Wow, that unlocks a lot. Bronze cuirass, bronze legging, bronze axe, the cultivator, farming tool. Ooh, we did get some carrot seeds, so that would be actually really, really nice. So let's, I mean, let's go ahead and make up as much as we possibly can. Oh, okay, that's it. We need one more copper to make another. So how much bronze do we need for all this stuff? Five, so that's 10 copper. And this is also five, which is 10 copper. And then the ax also is eight bronze. Dang, okay, so that's, we're, okay, so basically we just need a lot, a lot. At the gear, a true warrior's tool. That's fun, That maybe that'll take place of our spear. Ooh, this mace. I bet this is a solid thing. Or we could do a sword. Okay, so basically, moral of the story, and then this. Okay, so this is five. So let's maybe go for the gear first. I think that would be good. So five, five, and five. So that requires 30 copper. All right, so that we can handle. We can deal with that. Y'all, I am super excited for this. This weapon just seems so silly. Let's make the stag breaker. Oh boy. Now what do you need to upgrade it? Deer trophies, more core wood, leather scraps. All right. Okay. This is going to definitely be replacing this. Let's take this out. Oh boy. That is crazy. I'm guessing it's pretty slow. <laughs> oh my gosh. We are insane with this. I'm guessing I can't have, yeah, okay. It's a two-hander. I can block with it. That's, okay, this is insane. We definitely need to take on something with this. I'm really excited for it. Compared to this, so this does 20 blunt damage and five pierce damage, and this does 18 blunt, and that's it. So that's good. It has 150 knockback as opposed to 25, but it does take quite a windup. <laughs> that was so effective and satisfying. Okay, <laughs> it's my new favorite weapon. It's so silly. Like that was the most worth like they die with one hit from the spear but that just felt so good that's hilarious oh more neck meat there we go <laughs> so uh, okay back to copper do you see that i am so good at this freaking game oh my gosh that was sick all right a new day dawning and we have some stuff that we can do so i've been i went ahead and uh restocked our wood quite a bit um and i've also been making more coal just to make sure that we're always on top of that so still have a good amount of coal and looky looky 36 copper and 33 tin and so all i think what we need is we're gonna need well we might as well make all of it if we can waddle our way on over and we're at 874 and our dude here is an absolute beast so if we can wander on over here there we go 
And let's go ahead and make some bronze. 20 bronze in total, and now we just need one, two, three, four, five, six leather. Awesome. So we're still encumbered, but only by 214 pounds. So here's the issue with this right here. I can't get in here because I'm so encumbered. That's hilarious. Throw that out. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. We'll put the tin away because we don't need the tin. All right, so we have just enough to be able to make the cuirass, which is gonna be a great upgrade, the plate leggings, and the bronze helmet. Ooh, baby, let's take a look-see at ourselves now. Put the helmet, the pants, and the other thing on, and ooh, nice upgrade. Ooh, yes. What a good, so what is this? Eight armor, eight armor, eight armor. Compared to four, four, and four. So it is a double upgrade now at 26. Now, how much do we need to make a, how much do we need to make an ax? Eight bronze. I don't think we had, so four wood, two leather, eight bronze. I don't think that we have eight bronze. Nope. We have five. Is there anything that we can make for five? We could make the cultivator, which actually might be worth it. Bronze pick, 10. Buckler, 10. Okay, so for weapons, it seems like eight. For armor, it's five. And then for shields, 10. Uh, Pickaxes, 10. Okay, and this requires core wood as well. So this requires five core wood, five bronze. Do we still have enough Poor wood. Two. Ooh, rough. Let me go get that real quick and then I'll be back. All right. I got the core wood and we should now be able to make the cultivator. Boom. And now we can add grass, carrots, fir saplings. Okay. So now it gives us the option to be able to plant things. That's really cool. Okay. So six. Well, first off. Let me grab my food. All right, so six. And so now we can make a cultivated land. We can grass it up, plant our carrot seeds and beech saplings. So now we can plant things. Awesome. Maybe we'll get into that next episode. But I think that is going to have to do it for this one, guys. We are way better off now. We've got sick armor. We've got a sick weapon. And we now can make us some more food. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the, the uh, video. If you did, leave a like in real life. If you're new here and you're enjoying the series and you enjoy Valheim, Minecraft, all that, that, all that type of stuff, definitely hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, bye bye